Leaders of the DA, the UDM, COPE, IFP, ACDP and the Freedom Fund Plus say coalition governments are the future. They held a joint media briefing in Parliament today marking 100 days since taking office. Now the parties displaced the ANC in 15 municipalities including the big ones, the Johannesburg, Twane as well as Nelson Mandela Bay metros. Party party government has already achieved the following. We have placed a blanket ban on the purchase of new luxury cars to be bought or leased for politicians or officials. Second, we placed a blanket ban on lavish lunches, banquets, and inaugural parties. With regard to the city of Johannesburg, we are now in a position to report that in the first 100 days, the city has appointed Shadrach Sibia as head of the city's new internal investigative unit, a corruption-busting initiative spearheaded uh, by this gentleman, who is the former head of the Hawks in Gauteng. Well, at Nelson Mandela Bay, our coalition government has been hard at work to deliver the following successes within the first 100 days. The appointment of Ms. Yolanda Faro as the city's new head of the metropolis in order to create a safer and crime-free city. Because we may not agree on economic policy or on many other things, but we do agree on certain things. Constitutionalism is an example. Uh, we agree on the rule of law. We agree on opposing corruption. We agree that public money must be set aside for people. We agree that patronage cannot be the thing that drives government. We would like to think that this cooperation that we have now is an ideal springboard for what could happen in the future. And as the leader of the DA had indicated, uh, I mean, we have our first set of challenges, but I think we'll be able to grow uh, and, and then know how to deal with the challenges. Because it's more important for us to know how to deal with challenges that uh, we come across. I think the only way to beat the ANC is that all opposition parties get the maximum voters who support them. And together then, we will be able to beat the ANC at the election.